Hey guys, Ben Funderburg with Hey Man Fishing. And on today's episode, it's River Bass Fishing Techniques 2. Ooh, look at behind you. Striper behind you. Look at him, boy. He's knocking the crap out of it. Those stripers. <laughs> hey, it might be a dang catfish. <laughs> ah, dang. Oh, it's a catfish. God almighty. I don't need that boy. I don't need you, buddy. I don't need you. Catfish. on the worm. No catfish. Sure is pulling like that. Yeah, come on up there. Oh man. I don't want another catfish. Let's see what we got here. Nice bass. Look at that thing. On the purple worm, boy. Behind the rocks. Nice fish. Okay, guys, a few pointers about fishing the river. Islands. If you got an island on that river, fish that point on the end right here. That's This right in here is a great area. Uh, can produce some nice bass for you. Um, always fish those points. Another thing, uh, you know, bass, especially in the summertime, they're going to prefer the shady side of the river. So, you know, if I got the sun beaming down from this direction and you got you got shade all along this bank right here. Fish like to hold up in that shade. They're more comfortable in that shady area. So you got that situation, fish the shade. That's going to help you with the catching more bass. Okay, guys, here's another tip. On the river, what I like to do, if I got big rocks out in the middle of the river, I'm going to find those rocks and I'm going to cast up river like here's your rock i'm gonna cast up river and i'm gonna let that lure come down beside use those bass are holding it right behind those rocks 
uh, and it's a free meal for that bass. He's just waiting on that bait fish to come by there so he can dart out and grab it. So find your rocks out there on the river, especially out there in the middle, and uh, position yourself a few yards back behind that rock and cast over top of that rock and let it just go down beside that rock for some big bass. Okay, another tip, guys, on uh, river bass fishing. Uh, if you have a creek running out into the river, like right here, right there where that creek meets up with the river is an ideal location for big bass. Um, right after a rainfall, all the bugs, the insects get, get washed out into the river, and then bass are going to be holding up out here. So, you know, right after a rain, uh, even if you got a good flowing creek that runs out, if it's not dried up, if you got a good creek running out of there into the river, fish that area. It'll produce some good bass for you. If, you, if you're fortunate enough to where you can put in near uh, at, a, at your river where there's a dam, um, you can catch and along in that tail race, you can catch stripers, catfish. Uh, some areas probably got smallmouth in them, largemouth bass. Um, I mean, early on this morning, I caught a nice size uh, catfish. He took my, uh, caught him on the worm. You saw that in the video. Um, but um, the fishing strategy for me is I'm hoping they're going to run water. If the dam, um, I got an app on my phone. It gives me release times when they're gonna release a little bit of water. Uh, unfortunately, this morning that didn't happen. We we had a little bit of current, but we didn't have no rise in the water level. Uh, and I, I like the water to rise up a little bit because um, that causes the fish to be very, very active. Uh, the lures that I used on the river was a purple worm, seven inches, on a three alt, uh eagle claw worm hook and it had a 3 16th ounce uh, bullet weight on it. I caught most of my fish on that worm and then I had a uh, a white spinner bait a uh, quarter ounce that I throw uh, and also I used a uh, red eye it's made by uh, Strike King uh, the one quarter ounce uh, and I caught uh, caught one fish on it, but the rest of the fish were caught on that worm. Uh, and I caught one or two on the uh, on that uh, spinnerbait. But the strategy is here is to fish those places I was telling you about and uh, you'll have a lot better chance of catching uh, bass in the river. So until next time, God bless all of you and uh, have a good week.